bringing a perspective from psychology into this and saying, wait a minute, there's actually some things we really need to pay attention to at a more basic level. My analogy to it is like, you know, energy abundance is possible when we pay attention to physics. Mm -hmm. We don't live at the level that physics studies. <laughs> you know, like they're talking about sub subatomic stuff, you know, like nuclear energy, solar energy. Einstein actually did both, uh, is responsible partly for, for a lot of that because he actually, his Nobel Prize was for the photoelectric effect, not mm -hmm. for E equals MZ squared. He didn't win a Nobel for that. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. That was his minor work. His major work, <laughs> according to the no Nobel Committee, was the photoelectric effect, which eventually is, is enabling solar power to happen. Right. So he's responsible, in a way, for both solar and <laughs> nuclear. So pretty <laughs> interesting. But we have to pay attention to that lower level to get the abundance that we need at a higher level. And I think that psychology is now in a place where we can look at a lower level, at a learning level, and understand that instruction can happen in a different way than it used to. Mm -hmm. um, and th that's what my new book is more focused on, is really saying, okay, w we, we have learned certain things in psychology. And we can particularly look at autonomy, competence, and relatedness, self-determination mm -hmm. theory, if you're familiar with that, is that, that once you really start to support that, then you're going to get a different result. It doesn't mean you don't have structures around academics. It means that how they show up for that maybe needs to be different. It, it's really enabling that trust to be there as the foundation for the instruction to go on. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.